The front panel display on Audio-Technica's 3000 series Generation 4 receiver provides extensive visual display of system operating parameters. It can easily switch from standard operating view to a performance view that emphasizes audio and RF metering. Along with receiver name, frequency, group, and channel data, the standard view also displays basic RF and receiver audio output levels. To switch the audio meter so it displays the transmitter gain level, press the control dial to enter the configuration mode. Rotate the dial and navigate to Utilities and press the control dial. Rotate the control dial until AF meter is highlighted and press the dial. Rotate the dial to select RX, Receiver Output, or TX, Transmitter Gain, and press the control dial to store the selection. The large segment on the receiver display shows frequency as a default. Alternatively, it can show receiver name or group and channel. To change the display, press and rotate the control dial and navigate to the Utilities menu. Press and rotate the control dial and navigate to Display. Press the control dial and choose the desired item. Press the control dial to store the selection. Other functions that can be configured in Utilities are setting the backup frequency, locking out receiver controls, editing the user groups and channels, turning on the 12-volt DC antenna accessory power, checking the system firmware versions, and resetting the receiver to factory default settings. If the transmitter goes out of range or its RF level drops below the squelch threshold, the receiver automatically mutes the audio. A loudspeaker icon with a line through it appears when this happens. Use this feature to visually monitor performance while walking out the transmitter. Sometimes simply readjusting a receiver antenna can improve the transmitter range. On the receiver display's left side are the RF level indicators along with AB antenna lights. These show the RF signal strength and which diversity tuner, A or B, is active. When operating properly, the A and B lights switch back and forth as the transmitter moves about. Transmitter data shows up in the box to the left of the RF meters. Battery condition, transmitter output settings, lock and mute status appear here. When the transmitter is turned off or goes out of range, a circle with a white line appears in the display. The transmitters can work with standard alkaline or nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. The battery condition indicator shows the amount of battery power remaining. When it flashes with no segments, it's time to replace the batteries. Make certain the battery indicator setting is correct for the battery type being used or the indicator will display incorrect information. Access the transmitter's utilities menu and navigate to battery to verify it is set for the batteries being used. Rotating the receiver's control dial switches the receiver display from standard mode to performance mode. Performance mode features enhanced audio and RF metering along with basic transmitter data. The top half of the display shows the transmitter's RF level. Pressing the back button turns on the minimum hold level marker. A useful troubleshooting tool, this marker shows the lowest RF level from the transmitter and will not move if the RF level increases. Pressing the back button resets the marker. The lower half of the display shows the transmitter gain setting and level, along with receiver audio output setting and level. Use these indicators to properly set up the audio signal gain structure and to monitor if the microphone is overloading the transmitter. The small loudspeaker icon serves two purposes. A line appears through it when the transmitter or the receiver output is muted. The receiver output automatically mutes when the transmitter is turned off or goes out of range. The transmitters display two lines of information, including frequency, name, group channel, battery power remaining, RF output on, and mute. To conserve battery power, the display turns off after about 30 seconds. Simply press the multi-function button to reactivate the display. When a transmitter is powered on, the display's top line shows the current frequency. Use the transmitter's up and down arrow buttons to scroll through alternative choices for what appears on the top line. They could be frequency, group channel, or name. The choice will appear until the transmitter is turned off. A small LED illuminates on the transmitter to show it is active. When the transmitter is muted, the LED turns red. If desired, the LED can be disabled. Use the transmitter's control to navigate to Utilities and select LED to change it. For more information, visit us on the web at www.audio-technica.com.